Hey everybody, hope you can see me. I'm not quite sure. It's hot. So, anyways, I thought I would sit down and have a little chit chat. The channel's bleeding subscribers, and not quite sure what everybody wants from this channel or what turns people off from the channel. I do know that I try to stay away from the doom and gloom topics of the current day because I think there's enough of that and I try and keep things on an even keel try and show you how to use your preps and maybe suggestions on you know things to buy I'm not really down with the buy these 15 items now or you need this now or stock up on this now um, I don't focus on bug out bags because I don't think the reality of everybody bugging out to the woods is uh, real or what's the word I'm looking for feasible it's not in the realm of reality for the most part um, I think if everybody were bugging out to the woods thinking they're going to survive off the land is unrealistic. Um, I don't know if you know about during the depression, you know, they almost hunted out all of the deer. That's what's led into <clears throat> the, uh, you know, rules of hunting today and, and limits and things like that. You know, they were darn near hunted out. And then if you were out there, you're going to have people out there trying to steal whatever you have to survive out there. I mean, think about what it would actually entail to survive in the woods with your kids, with grandma, whatever. It's just not realistic. And then we've had like these temperatures over 100 degrees for like a month now. Like it's, a, it's in the hundreds right now. I'm already starting to sweat and I just sat down came out here because the dogs are having their dinner so I thought I could do a video and not have the chaos of the animals there's somebody at the door right now <laughs> my husband says you always make them sound like humans but uh so there's just some things that I don't find to be reality if you have all of these prepper items to survive in the woods somebody's going to come and steal that you know um glasses are getting foggy because it's hot um i'm not the biggest fan of being on camera because i'm not here to be critiqued on looks my hair my makeup or lack thereof um i'm usually canning and stuff so i don't see a point in getting all dolled up to sweat I didn't put on any makeup now because I'm just sitting here sweating um, but I do think it's important that if, you know if you are stocking up on all of these foods you need to know what to do with them I mean if you're just stocking them and putting them away and not using them that's not good um, if things get to a point where you are having to rely on them for your main meals and stuff I think it's important to know how to turn them into something that everyone's accustomed to I mean a lot of people say you'll eat when you're starving well nobody wants to really live off of plain beans and rice and my opinion of beans I know you don't see a lot of them in my videos is because you better have a whole hell of a lot of water to cook those beans so I try and can up a lot of my beans but I do have beans stored but you're never going to have enough water if you're in a suburban area like myself you're just not going to have it <coughs> excuse me so I mean we need to think within the realms 
of reality. Yeah, have them on hand, and if you have the water, cook them. But, uh, so that's, that's been the main focus of my channel, is a variety of foods, like, you know, rice is easier to cook than beans, but what do you do with it, you know? So I, I get the curries and the different things to try and show you how to zhuzh things up. Um, I cook with the sun oven or the grill or the cube stove to try and show you how to cook in an off-grid situation. I mean, we've been in those situations here. Um, trying to tell somebody exactly what they need prep-wise, that's really all relative to where you're at. I've learned through actual situations what we need in a, a situation where we have no power or heat or whatever. Um, our last major learning experience was the uh, snowstorm they got in Texas. We got the same thing here, that, that blizzard. And they turned our power off in the middle of the night. It was m minus 15 degrees. So I learned that in that moment, we didn't have the clothing, we didn't have the shoe wear, we didn't have the coats, we didn't have what you needed to get through a situation like that had it been as long term as it was in Texas. So uh, that's where my focus has been. So I don't really sit here, I'm not one of those people that's going to tell you what you have to have. I think a little common sense, you know where you live, you know how cold it gets, but you know a fluke situation can happen. Are you prepared for that? I've learned through F5 tornadoes and not having power for several weeks, um, what we needed to cook, uh, stay cool, and things like that. So. I will try to be more um, informative. Anybody that knows me, I, I, I am very opinionated. I am very chatty. But I reel that in on my videos and try and stay focused on what I'm doing in that video. I don't want people to be stressed out. That's why I stay on an even keel. I'm a one day at a time kind of person. For anybody that doesn't know, I've danced with cancer for about 15 years. So I've become a very one day at a time sort of person. So I deal with what I can see. <coughs> it's really windy, it's kicking up my allergies. Um, my asthma has been a uh, I guess you'd say a, a side effect from treatment, just a residual thing. That's where the coughing and sneezing and such comes from in my videos. I don't try to just hack and stuff. It comes out of nowhere. And it's usually a, a perfume or something that takes me out like soap and such. So anyways, um, I forgot what I was saying another thing chemo brain oh one day at a time so I take things one day at a time and I stay aware of what's going on and the potential um, of more serious situations arising in the near or far future a lot of people made predictions about the DEF and that the trucks were going to stop and the trains were going to stop. None of that has happened. And certainly not in the time frame that they said it would. So, I mean, take everything with a grain of salt. Prep your pantry. Have what you need for any situation that could arise in your area that that you know will happen, like the potential for hurricanes. You know, they say hurricane season may ramp up. I should have got some water is what I should have done. Um, hurricane season may be ramping up here soon. Um, 
the places that have had drought, they will get rain again and the potential for flash flooding will be increased. So, I mean, keep your, you know, stay open to those situations. You know, if you've had a drought, you know it'll rain at some point. It's highly probable that you'll have flash flooding. I mean, that's what we went through in California all the time. You know, it gets so dry and then when it does rain, the ground's so dry it can't absorb it, so we would flood. So between, I, I lost everything to fire in California, so I know what that's like. I dealt with the Northridge earthquake around my birthday and then the following month I got married to my husband so I've I've dealt with a lot of situations um, and that's how I've based my prepping and I do know that when it gets bad you don't want to eat plain old beans and rice I'm watching these wasps <laughs> and such so you know, the people just aren't interested in knowing how to cook it, um, how to cook with the sun oven, how to cook with fire or charcoal or on the grill, which I think is a shame. I think if you're in an apartment or a condo, I've lived that lifestyle. You need to have your butane stove. I've had people say that they can't have that stuff in their apartment. It's against the rules or... They can't even have solar. Do you really think in a really bad situation people would be going knocking on the door going, <laughs> you know, what do you have in there? Um, I would do it anyways. The same with water collection. California would be a fine example of that. I know in Colorado there's a lot of laws against collecting water. Get a barrel anyways. I mean, if things get that bad. Do you really think somebody's going to be banging on the door going, do you have a water barrel or do you have a butane stove or do you have a solar generator or any kind of solar power? Um, just do what you feel is right in your situation and take things day to day. I think the actual situations you might want to be focusing on is the border. I don't know if you know what's going on in Mexico, but it's completely collapsing. The cartel has uh, taken over. I know a lot of people that were going from San Diego, Southern California, doing their shopping and medical needs and things like that in Mexico don't, don't even go. Um, we have people crossing over the border in droves, by the thousands, daily. Where do you think think these people are going and what do you think they're going to be doing when we're struggling with inflation now and in a lot of areas I mean I'm not seeing it a lot here I, you may have to go to several stores to get what you need but I mean there's food on the shelves but these people are let out all over the country they're just being let off these buses or flown in with their little kitty bag, with their EBT card or their debit card. And when that runs out, what do you think these people are going to do? They're in a foreign country with no resources. I think you need to focus on those issues. Those are reality right now. And the violence and theft and things that are going to occur from that. I mean, when people have nothing else to lose, they'll do anything. And those people most, in particular, are in that situation. I mean, they they have what's going to happen. I mean, you'd be better off in jail, right? Three meals in a cot. So, anyways, I think I might be switching it up and I may give my opinion more but you guys may not like it I don't know but for whatever reason things aren't working now I post a video I bleed like 10 15 subscribers and I'm just I'd be curious to know why I get a lot of hate comments which I don't understand that either and I'd like to leave them there but uh, the the AI auto deletes them but you know, and some of them are within this community, so I think it would behoove people, a lot of them are males, I think it would behoove a lot of the women to know 
um, the kind of men that are running around in this community, and they're not they're, they're not very kind. You have an American flag, but you're in here berating a female to, because you don't like her opinion or how she's doing something. I've been called a coward. Uh, see you next Tuesday. Uh, stupid B. Uh, F in this and it's been interesting and I'm I'm probably one of the most tame channels on here in this community so anyways I just wanted to put some of that out there I have a lot of opinions on some of the prepping I'm seeing um, some of the things maybe that people need to take into consideration that I don't see them taking into consideration, but I see them preaching about it. It's kind of like you need to go take care of a few things yourself. So do what you need to do for your environment, I would say. Um, if you're in a neighborhood, you know the dynamics of your neighborhood. Prepare for that. You know the type of people that live around you. Um, Talk to your neighbors, have a few people that you talk to. I've had one incident where I had dog food stolen off of my porch and I know it was a neighbor. It wasn't, you know, a porch pirate. I've not had anything before or after taken. So people out of desperation are starting to do funky things and they may live right next door. So work on lighting, security, relationships, and stock your food. Know how to cook it, have things to cook it, know how to zhuzh it up, and uh, I will start talking a little more and you can have a little more insight into my brain and you may, you may hate it, you may love it, but you know what I'm doing now isn't working for whatever reason so I'm still gonna do my cooking my canning my outdoor cooking and if people watch it they watch it if they don't they don't but I think there are actual things you need to be watching out for and it's the gazillion people and I mean millions that are coming over here from other countries and they're not of the greatest caliber if you look them up matter of fact there's a movie um, Liam Neeson in it for a small taste of what these cartels are. They're here in the United States. Watch The Marksman. It'll give you a small taste of what's actually happening. It's like one little story, but pay attention to the details in that movie of what's established in this country that's being totally ignored by this administration. So. Anyways, I just wanted to sit down, have a chat with you. I don't particularly care for being on camera like this, but uh, I thought maybe it was time uh, to sit down and uh, see what we could do to change things up. So, anyways, you all stay safe, you stay healthy, and you stay cool because it's a hot one. It's supposed to cool off next week, and I will see you in the next video.